Hello po, magandang hapon ulit mga kapuso. Welcome to the second part of our Bloggers Conference this afternoon. This time around, we'll be joined by some of the lo loyal kapuso stars who recently renewed their contracts during the Sign for Stardom contract signing event. Let's all welcome them. First on the list is a Filipino actor who is set to be a part of the upcoming series, I Left My Heart in Sorsogoy. Bryce Eusebio. Good afternoon, Pop. Our next artist is a Filipino actress, comedian, host, and singer. Her hugot songs have recently gone viral on TikTok, and she is currently a part of Pipito Manaloto, Ang Unang Kwento, and Bubble Cup. Please welcome Denise Barbacena. Oh, sorry. Oh, hi, hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. You also have Filipino actress and entrepreneur. Okay, again, uh, I'd like to remind everyone to please mute yourselves uh, if it's not your turn to speak. Thank you so much. Again, let's welcome our next artist. She is a Filipino actress and entrepreneur. After her lead role as, as Iris in the Jimmy Afternoon Prime series, Babawin Kong Lahat, she is set to star in the upcoming installments of My Fantastic Pag TV. Please welcome Pauline Mendoza. And now let's proceed to our next artist. She is a Filipino singer, the voice behind many Jimmy Network dramas, and she won second runner-up in the Indonesian Singing Contest, Dangdut Academy Asia Season 5. Please welcome Hannah Priscilas. Hello, po. Joining us this afternoon is a Filipino actor, entrepreneur, and chef. He currently hosts Eat Well, Leave Well, Stay Well on Jimmy Network, and he also runs his sports bar, Avenue 75 in Paranaque. Please welcome Chef Jose Sarasola. Hey guys, what's up? And of course, we also have another Filipino actress and host who currently stars as Mariam in the cultural drama series Legal Wives on Jimmy Telebaba. Please welcome Ashley Ortega. Hi, everybody. And of course, we also have a Filipino actress, host, and advocate for youth education. When she's not opting, when she's not acting or hosting on camera, she focuses on her push to lead project, which is all about to instill the love of reading to children. Please welcome Patricia Tumula. Hi everyone, kamusta? My apologies because I am on the road right now. I'm going to my doctor's appointment, so I'm just gonna say hi. No videos. Thank you. Okay. You also have a Filipino actress and comedian who is part of the drama series First Yaya. She is also a mainstay in the longest running comedy gag show in the Philippines, Bubble Gang. Please welcome Annaline Barro. Hi everyone, good afternoon. And last but definitely not the least, she is a Filipino host who is currently sharing her journey with us, but as all as a first-time mom to her one-year-old son, Chris Channel. She has also recently launched Mom XLBG, her collaboration with a clothing brand perfect for breastfeeding moms. Please welcome Ms. Luan Lee. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you for your time. At para po sila at mga sama natin ngayon, again, please don't forget to use our hashtag. It's hashtag proud to be kapuso. This time around, let's get to know our blogger friends. Kasama po natin ngayong hapon si Mr. Albert Abelido ng Chicanes. Mr. Edsel Roy ng Starmometer. Ms. Kate Adahar ng Random Republica. Mr. MJ De Leon ng Beats. Mr. Zeng Bauto ng Show Business. Good afternoon. And dito rin po si Mr. Nazimel Tabares ng Pelikula Mania. Mr. John Bueno ng Kumagkaw. Shad Solis ng The Manila Feed. Hi, good afternoon. Zunel Estelore ng Cinema Bravo. Good afternoon po. Rocky Batara ng TV series Craze. And Roger Rocky. Opo, good afternoon. 
Mr. Justin Montes ng Starring of the Day. Mr. Michael Almasen ng Big Spots. Mr. Alan Sanko ng Stars for Dog. And dito rin si Mr. Rain Ferdinand ng Rain Check at si Mr. James Miguel ng Subiz Gana. Hi po, good afternoon. Ayan, muli magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. And now let's proceed to our Q&A portion. The first set of questions will come from Miss Kate at the heart of Rando Republica. Hi again. Um, my first question is for um, Patricia Tumulak. Um, okay ka bang sumagot, Pat? Patty. Yes, Hi, I'm okay. listening. <laughs> okay. Hi, um, it's been six years no, since you were launched on Eat Bulaga as the Happy Birthday Girl. And since then, ang dami nang nangyari. So how has showbiz life been? And I know marami kang advocacy projects, pero ano pa yung mga di mong magawa? Sabi ko nga, has it been six years already? Alam mo, I've been with Bulaga for three years and then Um, GMA artist naman and GMA artist center naman for three years. Um, mm-hmm. It's a roller coaster ride. I get to, I'm super grateful because I get to experience both hosting and acting at the same time. Um, yung sinabi mo naman na anong gusto ko pang hindi pa nagagawa, I think malapit ko nang magawa siya. So abangan and I'm super excited and I can't wait to tell you guys pero next time na muna. Oh, anyway, um, yun nga, yung earlier na interview, um, yun, cool. gusto ko na action Aside from that hosting stint, gusto ko ng action like mga Angelina Jolie na Quentin Tarantino, intense hitman. <laughs> oh. There you go. Congratulations, Patty. Thank you so much. Yes. And for my second question naman, for Ash- okay. Ashley Ortega. Um, hi, Mariam. Uh, congratulations on your stint and your renew- and your uh, signing with GMA Artist Center. Ano to, um, yung question ko, kumusta yung experience mo sa Legal Wives at na tumatak yung character mo na maraming naiinis sa'yo? So, kumusta yung experience mo working with veteran actors and also yung pagkakaroon ng maraming, nung medyo mga bashers ng character mo? <laughs> well, of course, um, sobrang saya ng experience ko sa Legal Wives maliban sa pagiging Mariam ko, even the whole experience of the lock-in taping because it's something new to me. First time ko mag-lock-in taping, tapos first time ko rin makasama ang mga mabibigating artista, just like Kuya Dennis Trillo, sila Miss Sherry Hill, and then we also did a teleserye na tungkol sa mga Muslim, which is a very sensitive topic. So, mal- malaking halaga po siya sa akin, and I was so grateful na I was part of that show, And then, unexpectedly also, yung role ko doon na si Mariam. And nag-stand out. <laughs> Hindi ko mo talaga yung expect yun. Lalo na when I got the role, they told me Mariam is a supporting role. Na from the start, she's gonna be there. And then, mawawala mo na for a while. And then, babalik ulit siya. So, basically, hindi ko in-expect na magiging ganun. Na people would talk about it. Would talk about my character. Na maapektuhan sila. Na mababasya ko ng sobra. But then, it was super overwhelming for me na nakaka-proud din sa sarili ko na parang, wow, I did a good job. I wasn't aware at first. I was just doing my job. Ginagawa ko yung best ko. Pero I'm so grateful na yung mga viewers nag-enjoy sila. And then, yung mga nakatrabaho ko, the whole cast, the whole production. Um, actually, Legal Wives, isa yan sa mga memorable shows yan sa akin. Congratulations and malapit Thank you. na ulit ko Yes! At <laughs> yan na si Mariam. Thank you. Magagalit mga tao. <laughs> salamat, salamat. Thank you, Che. Thank you. Thank you, Ate Kate. Next question naman. Next set of questions will come from Mr. MJ De Leon. Yes, hi. Good afternoon. Yeah. yeah. Um, Yes, uh, my question actually is also for Patricia. So sorry, I think you're, I, I know you're driving. <laughs> Pero, um, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, today is Miss Universe Philippines Day. It will be trending later on. And, you're, and you yourself, you've joined the Bab Beauty pageants like Miss Earth and uh, Bidi Bini Pilipinas. So while we are at the hype of it, we'd just like to ask, uh, what do you think should be the main characteristic of a Filipina? To, to represent the country in the Miss Universe. Or kung meron ka mga bets, mga ganon. <laughs> All right. Biglang, biglang Q&A to ah. Yes. I think especially <laughs> at this time, kailangan 
the woman who is like very resilient and who can handle herself um especially in all aspects uh, from mentally physically emotionally you know spiritually and then someone who knows herself more than anyone else kasi if alam mo or kilala mo ang sarili mo you won't um get affected especially nowadays with the social media maraming bashers maraming um what you call this parang gravitational pull na keep you pulling down so yeah if you know yourself and if you believe in your advocacy if you stick up to it then you'll be fine you'll do great if you just be yourself that's it Ayun, ready din si Pat for the Q&A. Thank you so much, Pat. <laughs> yeah, kasi yun ang pinag-uusapan okay. ngayon sa, sa Twitter. But thank you and safe driving. Um, right. Thank you so much. Thank you. My next question is for uh, Jose, for Chef Jose Sarasola. Hi, MJ. Yeah. Hi, Jose. I just like, kukunin ko lang yung isang question na nakita ko sa Twitter um, na nakatag kasi yung name mo. And... Gusto ko lang ibaro yung question niya. <laughs> Just a fun question. Uh, kung dish ka, anong klaseng dish ka at this stage in your life and why? <laughs> um, can I say wine? Pwede din. Talaga. Um, dish, um, wow. That's kind of hard. Siguro ano, wow, that's such a hard question. Parang ayoko maging cliche answer. Siguro ano, Paella. Mm. Spanish cuisine. Why But, paella? Ako, I'm Spanish kasi. So I, I guess I picked paella because parang gusto kong siguro isipin ng mga tao na uh, hindi lang ako chef. I can do like more. Like I can also act on the side. You know, I, I work out a lot. Um, I parang basically chose paella parang to show people na I bring something different to the table. Not your typical chef. So I guess. So there's a lot of you pa that can be served. Ganon ba yan? Ah uh, yeah, pretty much siguro if in, in that kind of context, yeah, if there's much to go around, if there's something more for me to do to excel in my craft whether it's cooking or acting or anything else, I guess yeah, I guess that would be a good context, MJ. Ayun. That's a nice answer actually. Congratulations guys. Sorry we're only allowed two questions, but congratulations for renewing your contract. Thank you. Thank you Chester. Thanks kay MJ. Next question sa man natin for Denise for Basen. Ayan. So, babasahin niyo yung questions for you, Denise. Okay. First question is, what more can we expect from you as a kapuso? Oh. Uh, Kinabala ko, di ba? Parang pang Miss Universe. Yung next question is for... <laughs> um, okay. First of all, um, I have an upcoming song. Yay! With GMA Playlist. So, sana po, supportahan niyo po yan and tulungan niyo po ako na na ipakalat ang magandang balita. Kasi po, I'm very, very excited po sa project na ito. Dahil finally, after 10 years since Protege, meron na po akong uh, first ever single na nakanta na po talaga na really made for me and talag, collabor, uh, collaboration po talaga to with GMA, GMA Playlist. With my management and of course yung yung artistry ko din sa song na to. So abangan niyo po 'yan this year lalabas po 'yan. And uh artikulo kasama po ko diyan. So abangan niyo rin po ang pag-air ng artikulo. I think early next year po lalabas po 'yan. 'Yon and of course bubblegum pa rin every Friday and Tepito Manaloto every Saturday. So, yun po. And the last question na since the election season again and you were part of the Dapat Tama campaign of Jimmy before, do you have any advice for those who haven't registered yet? Oh, nako. Uh, kung gusto niyo po talaga ng pagbabago, no, kailangan uh, mag-contribute tayo dito. And isa sa mga uh, paraan ng pag, uh, makakontribute tayo sa pagbabago is makaboto po tayo. No? So, Uh, use your right to vote, practice your right to vote. So mag mag mag-register po tayo. Marami naman pong available na na instructions and kung process kung paano po no sa online. So mag-search lang po tayo diyan and sana I am not sure if it's official na no, na extend yung voting registration. So pag po na extend, uh, pumunta po tayo magpa-register kasi kahit po sabihin natin na isa lang naman yung boto natin, no? pag pinagsama-sama po yan, eh, malaki po ang magagawa niyan para sa atin. Di ako sawa na po tayo sa paulit-ulit na lang. Dapat tama. <laughs> di ba? Bumoto po tayo. And sana, 
vote wisely. Lagi-lagi po yan. Vote, let's vote wisely. Yun lang po. Yes, officially extended that. Thank you so much, Denise. Thank you. Next question naman natin from Mr. James Miguel of Subis Gana. Hi po. Good afternoon. Um, yung question ko for ano, Ashley. Hi, Mars. Hi, Mars. I miss you. I miss you too. Yeah. Sa pag-iilin nyo mo, um, sa pag nakikita ko sa nag-sinod yung projects mo during this pandemic, um, paano mo minimake sure na iba-iba pa rin siya? Siyempre kasi di ba nag-lock and taping per show? Um, well, syempre una, sobrang grateful ako and thankful na tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung work ko this lockdown and pandemic. And swerte din ako because um, natutuwa ako sa Artist Center because they would give me roles na iba-iba rin. Which is something I really love because I want to be a versatile actress. So, mas napaglalaroan ko yung craft ko. Like, for example, yung sa Legal Wives, masama ako doon, Contrabida. And then, um, I did um, a Magpakailanman episode, which is like, I was a victim of rape by my father. So, parang drama yon. And then, now, I'm um, taping for the ikay ng lola ko. Maarte naman yung role ko dito. And I'm also gonna do a Regal episode na multo naman ako. So, Iba iba, so na paglalaroan ko siya and um as much as possible, you know, I study the script um uh lalo na yung kay Maryam, yung culture nila kasi 'di ba Muslim. So it's a very sensitive topic. Um inaral ko rin yung mga language ng Maranao and yung mga bawal din sa Islam. Inaral ko nang maigi, I did my research, even the movements. And the rest naman is yeah, I just basically study the script. I give myself time to prepare and to do my roles properly. Bongga super busy na mo pala talaga ni Ashley. Kasi <laughs> pala ko talaga, I'm so thankful sa GMA Art Center na tuloy-tuloy yung work ko. So ayun um follow up ko lang kasi syempre pag super busy ka and super preoccupied ka, may times na parang magkakaroon siya na affect sa mental health mo. So curious lang what keeps you going or motivates you during this pandemic besides work. Well, actually, um, yan talaga yung naging kalaban ko this lockdown. And marami rin ako natutunan tungkol sa mental health ko. Maliban sa walang work nung una, nung first few months of lockdown, syempre na-stress ako na walang work na dadating kasi lahat tayo lockdown tapos simula pa lang ng pandemic noon. And then eventually, nung nagka-work naman ako, nag-lockdown taping ako, tapos mag-isa lang ako sa, ba- sa kwarto, nagka-quarantine, walang kasama, away from family, one month ka hiwalay sa kanila. So, it was really hard for me mentally. But then eventually, niisip ko na lang na I'm super grateful na may trabaho ako, na may pagkain ako, na I'm healthy, na Um, nung nasa lock in taping ako hindi lock nung nasa lock in taping ako hindi lahat ng tao nabibigyan ng trabaho so i should be grateful tiisin ko na lang tong um five day quarantine sa hotel and then ayun um nagfo-focus ako sa sarili ko um um i talk to my family i communicate to my friends and yeah i always look at the brighter side kaysa naman magmukmuk ako doon at lalong mas stress ayun lang thank you so much Mars and congrats thank you Mars thank you Thanks for your dreams. Next question is from Mr. Rocky Batar. Hello po. Yan. Bali yung first question ko, para kay Chef Jose Sarasola. Hey Rock. Hello Jose. Hey. First of all, congratulations for renewing and staying as a kapuso. Yeah, thank you. So, my question goes, isa ka sa pinakamatagal ng kapuso, what made you decide to sign again another contract with them? At ano yung mga bago naming aabangan sa iyo sa GMA? Well, I don't think I'm ang pinakamatagal ng kapuso kasi kakalipat ko lang last year. So, um, uh-huh. um, yeah, um, yun nga, grateful talaga ako sa Artist Center family, of course, sa GMA, and of course, my team, sila Kuyo Will, Miss Tracy, for giving me the opportunity to, you know, sabaga, in layman terms, spread my wings here sa GMA. And yeah, um, siguro more cooking gigs rock. I mean, I just we just finished our second season of our Ajinomoto show, yung Eat Well, Live Well, Stay Well with Miss Ia. And ayun, nakapagsegway din ako ng um, Investigador where I played a killer which, you know, I've never done before. Mm-hmm. People thought I couldn't look like a killer but thankfully <laughs> naman, medyo nagawa ko naman yung role and then 
nagtadhana rin with Kiray. So, kahit paano, you know, I'm really grateful nga, as I said kanina, na parang work's been coming in. And siguro, yun nga, just improve my craft more in terms of, you know, um, as a chef, even if I have a lot of knowledge sa pagluluto, um, I think learning never ends. Well, there's always like new recipes out there, new twists, new kinds of ingredients you can combine to make a good dish. And siguro yung acting ko rin, kasi hindi naman ako like super good actor yet. So I just want to improve more, do more workshops. And yun nga, siguro rock more ano lang, more hopefully, ano, more shows soon. <laughs> shows soon. <laughs> Hope mga more shows, whether it's uh, cooking, culinary shows, or acting. Um, whatever, you know, the, the management gives me or the network, I'll appreciate everything naman. So I won't naman be picky and like picking roles. So any naman, basta may blessings tayo, important yun. Okay, thank you, sir, and congratulations. Looking forward sa mga projects mo na to sa kapos. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yung second question ko naman, para kay Bryce Eusebio. And hello po, good afternoon po. Hello, Bryce. Wait lang ha. Yun. So yung question ko para sa sa'yo. Uh, you started as a child star in GMA. Now that you've grown up as a teen actor, sino mga successful young stars natin ngayon na nagsimula din as a child actor or child stars ang nilulook forward mo or inspiration mo at bakit? Um, ako, top three. Yes po. Ako, I really look up to Sir Patrick Garcia, Puyo Paolo Contis, and Sir Carlo Aquino po. Mm-hmm. Um, bakit sila? Nahangaan ko po yung ano, like at a young age, they're really true to themselves na po uh, when it comes to their craft. And yeah, especially Kuya Paolo Contis, um, kasama ko po siya sa I Left My Heart in Sorsogon and mm. napahanga po ako talaga kung paano siya trumabaho sa set. Um, actually nga dun sa taping, um, andun ako sa, habang na, nakasin si Kuya Paolo Contis, andun ako sa likod na direct. Yung mga TV po dun na mm. parang, parang nakakonect yung camera. So pinapanood ko po kung paano kabilis mag-jump si Kuya Paolo Contis when it comes to acting. Yun po. Okay. So, ayan lang, Bryce. And actually, looking at you, meron kang konting resemblant na kay Patrick and Carlo. And mm-hmm. sa thank you naman, kay, ano, yes, sir. Kay thank you, Bryce. So, thank you, Bryce. Looking forward sa mga new projects mo. With yes, post. salamat po. Thank you. Thanks for your rocky. Next set of questions naman will come from Mr. Albert Abibido of Sukanets. Hey, mabuhay! Good afternoon and congratulations everyone. So yung first question ko for, from, for Bryce then ayan. So naalala ko si Bryce, first time ko siya nakita. I think he was only like 9 years old or 10 ba yun? And yes. ano, guwapo yung dad ni Bryce. Yan lang. And, 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 <laughs> so yung question ko for you Bryce is, how was it like? for you growing up in show business? Na-enjoy mo ba yung pagiging bata mo, yung teenage? Uh, um, Siyempre po, it's hard kasi siyempre kailangan ipagsabay yung studies siya kayong career. So medyo doon nag-struggle po ako. Pero based on my experience po, um, actually, it's, it, it was fun. It, it was actually, ano, it was actually enjoying yung journey ko papunta kung nasan ako ngayon. Um, I get to learn a lot of things at a young age um, na hindi ko ina-expect lagi. Like, I'm a, uh, um, I always love surprises. And dito sa path ko na to, parang mostly surprises po siya lahat eh. Like, very unexpected lahat-lahat. Mga workshops na yan, hindi ko alam na marami pala ako matututunan. Hindi lang sa workshop itself, but I can also apply it to my work and sa life ko din po. And also sa, ano, thank you din sa GMA kasi... Um, yeah, at a very young age, ang dami na po nilang, di naman dami, pero like, there were many roles na may hirap na binigay po sa akin na I took it as a challenge and learned from it. Ay, taray. Oo nga, binatang binata ka na nga. <laughs> Ayan, so, ano lang, follow through lang, kasi di ba you have an upcoming project. Yung yes. sa, um, can you like make kwento lang on what can we expect with your role doon sa Pelicero? Um, I think um, ibang-iba siya sa dati kasi this is my first show po ngayong nag-pandemic and it was a long time since hindi po ako nag-taping. So, ibang price po yung makikita niya doon. And I also have um, 
pwede po mag-promote. <laughs> I also have um, an upcoming guesting sa wish ko lang and ibang pares din po makikita niyo doon. So yeah, sa Source of Goan naman, it was parang same din siya sa mga dati ko mga nag-young kuya Alden po ako, mga love team, mga love love roles po. Pero dito naman, it's a more mature Bryce. It's a mature role po kaysa sa mga dati nung bata pa ako, na nine years old ako, ganun po. Okay, we look forward to that, Bryce. Congrats. Ah. Salamat po.